friend, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Miss Universe 2020 contestants top 15 headshots. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Danny Walker. Thank you for clicking on this episode. I hope that you're gonna stick around and consider subscribing and hitting that notifications so you know when new episodes come out every week. Today's episode is brought to you by Rehearsed to Relatable. If you are a pageant contestant preparing for a competition, check this out. This will teach you how to stand out in the interview room. If you wanna know more, just click the description below. I'm gonna say this first, just because some of you got a little upset on one of my last episodes. When I showcased my favorite walks for Miss Universe, you thought that I was ranking the contestants, which I never said I was in that episode. The headshots that I'm sharing with you today are in random order. So let's get that out of the way so we can get started. I do have a quick message for all my pageant contestants that are preparing for a competition, and that is this. Yes, I love doing episodes like this about the Miss Universe contestants, but this also has another purpose. I want to show you and give you a good demonstration of how subjective pageants are. Let's just acknowledge that the contestants at Miss Universe are stunning. They're stunning, they're gorgeous, gorgeous women, and they're all so accomplished. And I know that when you enter a competition that's really, really difficult, where the competitors are really bringing the best that they have, that sometimes as a contestant, you might feel inadequate if you don't place or if you don't win the pageant, but it's simply not true. At the end of the day, only one person can be selected and pageants are just subjective, okay? So I wanna give you this example because as you can see, these contestants are absolutely gorgeous and stunning, but what I see in their images is very different than what you will see. And these contestants that I'm going to mention, guaranteed, would not be consistent with your own opinions or anybody else's opinions out there. You wouldn't be able to get everybody to agree on a top 15 ever. With that being said, we're gonna get into these. I'm gonna share with you just what I appreciated about these images, but I want you to understand that going into pageants because so many times contestants are just really beating themselves up when it was nothing personal. It's just that judges had to make some sort of an elimination. Look at her. This image just makes me really happy. I think that she looks very photogenic here. She looks very, very approachable as well. The hair and the makeup is great. I don't feel like it's very overdone. And if you look at this picture though, the one thing that I would change would just be the lighting. I feel like overall, we're kind of losing a little bit of her hair in the darkness of the background. So maybe either adjusting the lighting for this one or switching to a lighter background. That really could have made it pop even more. This just might be my favorite headshot this year. I just love it. She's so glamorous. The hair, the makeup, she has a really soft facial expression here. She's not even wearing earrings, but she's bringing a little bit of glam with her outfit. And, and I just love it. I think that she immediately captures your attention. And I think this is such just a great example of a beautiful headshot for Miss Universe. Just look at the expression in her eyes. It looks like she has a secret and it makes me wanna know, well, what is it? I love that about her. She is so beautiful, so stunning. I honestly felt so terrible that I overlooked her in some of my other episodes. I did recently feature her in my best walk episode, but she is just so fierce, so fabulous, has a killer walk, and she's stunning. This is just such a beautiful image. The hair, everything about it just gets me. The styling of this, how they retouched her skin. It's not overdone, it's not too washed out. It's just beautiful. I love this image. Clearly, Miss Croatia has some modeling experience. This image is a little interesting to me because I get the vibe that it's been pulled from her modeling portfolio, which isn't necessarily a bad thing or a good thing. It, it doesn't really mean that much in terms of pageantry, but it does go to show that if you do have modeling experience, sometimes you can use some of your images in a pageant, which is what it looks like happened here. But even if it didn't, it's fabulous. I love the soft windblown hair. The makeup is beautiful here. We see lots of neutrals and the hair is just soft and flowing. She's not overdone. She's not trying too hard. This image right here looks like it can go from a pageant headshot right to a campaign. I love this photo. This is another one though where I would have brought up the background just a little bit. I personally like headshots that are a little 
little brighter and lighter, but that's a personal preference, just as any judge will have a personal preference. But I love this image regardless. She has a beautiful, soft expression. The hair is blown out of her face, so we're really getting to see all of her facial beauty. And if you notice, even though she has a hand in this photo, it's placed very soft, very delicately. And that's something that drives me insane about a lot of headshots that I see. I see a lot of like, awkward hands in images. So ladies, if you're gonna put a hand in an image, you're really gonna have to get used to softening up that hand before your photo shoot. Thailand, wow, this is so beautiful. Something about this image, it just reminds me of the Miss Universe website. It looks so branded for that. Like it just blends in so perfectly, which maybe was strategy, but this is beautiful. The hair, I love the makeup in this shoot. It's really soft, kind of golden. And, and even the wardrobe and the earrings. It's very, very subtle. It shows off her natural beauty. It's a very soft glam image in my opinion, which I love. Are you liking this episode? I hope you are. If so, don't forget to subscribe, but also give this episode a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Going for the bold colors. Okay, we don't see these pops of colors as much in Miss Divisions, especially for Miss Universe or Miss USA, but I tend to love this pink and to me it makes her stand out on top of the beautiful glowing skin, the hair, she went with a ponytail, okay, we don't always see that, but it's really working for her and I think that because her shirt kind of looks like something that you would wear to a business meeting, she's still coming off as professional, like she's ready for this job and I love it. I just love this image. I'm so excited to see her on stage. Oh my gosh, have you guys already seen some of her outfits? Oh, you're gonna die, go check out this other episode. Mexico is not disappointing. Oh, so, so happy. So this is just a stunning image and really I expect no less from her. She is a gorgeous contestant and I'm like, how could she ever take a bad photo essentially? And this is perfect. So once again, you'll notice that hand in the photo that I just mentioned, but the hand placement is very soft and you don't even really pay attention to the hand because of the gaze in her eyes. And that's what's important that you don't have dead eyes on camera. I also see that quite a bit in pageant headshots, but this is just so well done. Her styling is very simple and you're really just focusing on her and nothing else. USA Okay, yes, thank you so much for this beautiful image. I'm assuming this one was shot by Fadil, who usually shoots our Miss USAs and as well as our Miss Universe title holders. And this is a really, really beautiful image. What I really appreciate about it is that we're seeing her natural beauty. She's not covered in makeup, which is a look in itself, like no hate against a full makeup look. Like I love that too. But I just also like to see this change in pageants sometimes. And this ends up making her stand out to me just because she went the opposite way of any other contestant by toning things things down and really showcasing that natural beauty, which personally, that is not my strength. I could not take an image like this and look this beautiful, but she looks stunning. I love just the simple hair. It's pulled away from her face. And then also, I don't even know what's in front of her. Frankly, it could be a shirt. It could be the tool from a dress for all we know, but it looks great. Really beautiful coloring. It's just soft. There's metallics in the back. And by the way, metallics usually signify things like money and wealth. That's kind of what we associate with those colors. So she looks expensive. I am obsessed with her. So I can definitely see her in top five this year. And I would 100% root for her if she was up in that top five. I think that she had an incredible up close video. If you want to hear my thoughts on that, just go watch this other episode. She was great in that, but she's really pulled on my heartstrings. And not only my heartstrings, she is just stunning. stunning stunning in every image, in every video, her walk, just her confidence, absolutely everything about her. And I feel that confidence coming across here. This is nice, like I love how they they added a little bit of shine to her collarbones. It's really beautiful, but subtle and soft. And as you can see, once again, not even any earrings, a really, really simple styling here, and it served her well. One of my personal favorites is looking fabulous here. All right, let's break this down. Wow, okay, so Maria looks stunning. I love that she's on trend with the puffy sleeves in this photo, but they're also not overwhelming in the image because they're cropped out. So it, it shows that she's trendy, she's current, 
and she's the modern everyday woman, but she still is bringing all the attention to her face in this image. And she is just glowing. The makeup is a very subtle, soft type of glam look. I love that the lips are really subtle as well and they're just complementing this top or this dress that she's wearing. She just looks beautiful, immediately captures my attention. I love this image of Bahamas and it's probably my other favorite, I think, like in the top two. I just love her smile. It's stunning. This color of turquoise or aqua that she's wearing is so, so beautiful. Frankly, I don't even notice the earrings right away, but just everything, like the flowing hair, how it's waved out. We're getting a full face shot here and, and just I just love it. I'm obsessed with it. I love her expression and her smile here. She looks stunning. If anyone would have a great image, it would be Dominican Republic because she is so naturally beautiful. We have another contestant right here that probably cannot take a bad photo and that's really evident here. So this one's a little bit unique. So it's kind of monochromatic. We have a lot of brown tones and dark tones going on, but it's really just simplified and it focuses on her face. And that's what I love about this. It could easily be used for a hair or a skincare campaign, frankly. Her, her the editing, the, the way that they edited her skin, which I'm sure doesn't even need that much editing because if you guys have seen her up close on camera, you'll know she has really, really great skin, which I, was, I would love. Oh, it's something I would love. So I, I just love this entire look. We're really focusing on the neutrals here, but it's a very up close shot of her, which we don't always see in pageants. And because it's so up close, we're really able to focus on her facial beauty. And I love that. Another pretty tightly shot headshot right here, and I love it. The expression is really soft, but she also, to me, is giving that vibe of like, game on, I'm ready. I'm here for the crown. You're gonna see here too, the editing here is flawless for her, her hair, her makeup, her skin, just everything is perfect and not over retouch. So that's something that I talk about a lot for pageant contestants. Make sure that you have a great hair and makeup artist so you don't actually have to get that much retouching done. And then the retouching just becomes very subtle. So just kind of smoothing out any flyaways, or if you were breaking out on the day that you shot, you know, uh, taking care of those type of imperfections on camera. But other than that, this is just such a captivating image. And she just looks, she just looks like she's, laser focused on the crown here. And then last, we have Philippines today. So this is a really, really beautiful image. And honestly, one of the things that I love about this picture is her hairstyle, because this is a hairstyle I have tried to achieve so many different times, and it's never worked. That like loose volume type of look with a little soft updo, it's never worked for me. I'm a little bit jealous of this hairstyle, frankly. And it's something that really drew me to this image. Also just the elegance of it. The elegance and how she's just carrying herself in this photo it just reminds me of portraits of queens right just like here I am so regal and elegant and I love that and I love the outfit I can't even see all of the outfit but it looks like something I would wear so it's pretty darn fabulous and once again like we're seeing a lot of neutrals here but beautifully very very beautifully done and and very captivating as well those are my thoughts on these headshots and as I mentioned in the beginning if you are a pageant contestant I hope that this gives you a little bit of perspective just because I'm sharing my own personal thoughts and these are things you could have also been thinking of when you saw these images or they could have been things that you said to yourself, I never would have thought about that. And that's really what it's like in that judging room. I've judged some photogenic competitions in the past and every single judge can appreciate something different about the contestant images. So please keep that in mind. Don't be too hard on yourself if you miss a placement while you're competing in a pageant or don't understand why you don't win a photogenic competition. It's so, so subjective. And that's a really big takeaway that I hope that you understood from this episode. Thank you so much for watching this one. I hope that you enjoyed Enjoy it and that you will keep up with all my Miss Universe content. I'm so excited that this weekend I am actually heading to a wedding for one of my sister queens. Miss New Hampshire USA 2018 is getting married this weekend. So I'm going from that wedding. We're going to have a nice reunion with my USA sister queens. And then I go straight from that to Florida where I'm going to have a few days off at Disney World because I really wanted to be able to make this entire trip a really 
fun thing. So I'm going to go there and then of course going to the Miss Universe competition. And I've been loving your guys' requests. Somebody requested that I do a get ready with me for Miss Universe, which I honestly wasn't even thinking about. And I think that would be a really fun episode. Um, but if there's anything else that you want to see on the channel, let me know so I can plan for that before Miss Universe. Aside from that, I appreciate you watching this episode and I appreciate all of you who've been subscribing and sharing. I'm just so amazed. We're almost at 65,000 subscribers. It's like, wow, it's like freaking me out. Uh, my mom texts me about it. And so that's really exciting for me. And I appreciate it. I appreciate all your support so, so much. And I can't wait to share Miss Universe with you.